Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mailbag Day here at Comic Vantage. Alright, so as I said, it is a mailbag day. It's the only thing it can be when I have my tools out, my coffee, and my little stand here. So we have a nice, nice stack of books to get through along with a little prize that was delivered by Walmart. Uh, recently, Walmart had a really, 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 really incredible sale. I will tell you all about it. So I get this bag open. Whoever packed this bag did not do it properly. They used both seals instead of just one like they were supposed to. All right, so let's see what we got here. You guys ready? This is a lot of fun. You know, I want some coffee first. How's everyone doing today? Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> All right, so today's action figure unboxing is a reproduction or reissue Beast Wars Cheetor. Look at that. The thing is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't believe they do anymore, but uh, I think it was last week. Walmart had a huge blowout sale on their Beast Wars figures. I guess they're not doing as well as they had hoped. Uh, the big boxed Megatron, the T-Rex, and the Gorilla Optimus Primal are $50 normally and marked down to 20 bucks a piece. And then they had Cheetor here and Rat Trap that were usually $22 marked down to 9 bucks. So I bought them all because I love Transformers, even Beast Wars. Uh, you know, I didn't give Beast Wars the fighting chance it should have had when it first came out. So I got a little late into it. It was like a season or so or maybe even two um, when I started watching it. And wow, it's actually really good. I really enjoyed it. So there we go. We got Cheetor hanging out with us today. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good coffee this morning. Let's see if I just put him over here. There we go. Cheetor will hang out. All right, next up. Wouldn't be a mailbag day without a package of shame. Oh, and today's package of shame. Look at this. <sighs> yep. That's actually, that's, that's all it was. A padded envelope. No padding. The book didn't even have a backboard. It was just in plastic. Yep. Yeah, I've already, I took it out to inspect it because I was a little worried about it. But the book came through okay by grace of, I don't even know how or why or how, I just, yeah, I have no idea. I've already bagged and boarded it, so it's nice and pretty in Comic Vantage bags that everybody should be using and buying. Check ComicVantage.com for my bags. I carry modern and silver age sizes. All right, so what do we got here? We've got Advanced Dungeons and Dragons issue number one. And yes, uh, with all these books, just like the last mailbag day, these are all going into season 26, which is right around the corner. What are we like, five days away, people? So this is getting crazy. A lot, a lot of great books. The theme is 80s cartoon month. And yes, there was a 80s Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Nothing to do with the comic book, but I figured, hey, it's still cool. All right, so let's see what else we got here. This actually feels like Oh, I thought this was in a Gemini Mandler in here. The way it's kind of crooked, see? But it's not. They actually made their own little mailer thing. Oh, what are you? Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see what this is already. Because they didn't pack it the other way. They put it face up so I could tell. So I'm going to do it down here so you guys can't see it. And then I'm going to put it right there. Look at that. Oh no, what is it? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. You are to tempt the gods, masters of the universe, issue number one. And now this is not the first appearance of He-Man, but it is his first solo appearance in his own little mini series. So these are, I have, I don't know, maybe two or three copies of this going into the mystery boxes for season 26. Awesome, awesome, awesome book. So I actually need one of these for my collection. I don't have one. All right, let's see what else, what else we 
else is next? Now we got a Gemini Mailer. Oh, just slice my table. Good stuff. Alright. Next up. Oh, that's pretty. I think that's in a Mylar. Still not a Comic Vantage bag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we got here? Hey, Thundercats issue number one. I was having a monster of a time uh, finding a good price in this book to put in the mystery boxes. And I was able to get one copy for season 26. Yes, one copy. This book is absolutely exploding. It is just ridiculous in price recently. So I was very, very happy to find one and to get one into the mystery boxes. Ooh, 80s cartoons. I love 80s cartoons. Man, I watched cartoons so much as a kid. I don't know. It was almost like it was sort of my life. All I did was watch. I watched cartoons so much. I knew every single radio jingle that were a TV commercial jingle that would come on. And I would sing them. And I will never forget. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know why I'm telling the story. Because it's not very, you know, I'm not proud of this. Hey, somebody threw a little... Web and says thank you. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember being at my friend's house and we were sitting down and we were watching Saturday morning cartoons. I don't even know why I was there, but I must have been pretty young. And I was singing along to the commercials. <laughs> and I will never forget him just saying, How much TV do you watch? <laughs> and this is a kid saying it. <laughs> an amusing story. I love that. All right, so what do we got next? What are you? You are Care Bears, issue number one. Yes, this fits in the 80s cartoons. I have some Care Bears. I have some Strawberry Shortcake going into the boxes. I think I have three copies of this book and possibly like one or two copies of Strawberry Shortcake. So there you go. I tried finding some Gem in the Holograms, but apparently they didn't make an 80s comic book for Jim and the Holograms that's all recent. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Looks like we got some painter's tape. We got some regular packing tape. So I'm assuming the painter's tape is on the book. right on out. Woo. Okay, let's see. What else is in here? You are... Hey, another Dungeons and Dragons, issue number one. Like I said, I try to grab multiple copies of every book I put into the mystery boxes for that season, uh, even some of the bigger books. And I believe, like I said, I don't know if I have two or three copies of this. I mean, we can all see I have two already. Um... Yeah, this is like a $20, $25 book, which is really nice. Gorgeous. Needs to be put into Comic Vantage Bag, though. All right, next up. Man, that one feels pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I want to. two books in here. Pretty crappy. Bags and boards. They need comic vantage bags. All right. And you are, hey, a Turtles Adventure issue number two. And that means you are a Turtles Adventure issue number one. Yes, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures issue number one. Now, uh, wow, it's actually a nice shape. This is about the time the cartoon hit 
television. So, you know, it's sort of based on that. So this is the books that are going into the mystery boxes. I think I grabbed two of these. Only one issue number two, though. And that's just going to be a random filler book. But, yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got three packages left. That's a nice big package here. Yeah. Issue number one, the old Black Thorn publishing comic. So, so good. Oh, that's amazing. Like, it actually has a 25 cent price tag on it. Yeah, that book's not 25 cents anymore. I was able to find two of these for the mystery boxes. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was able to grab several really hard to get 80s comics stuff you people probably didn't even know you wanted that being one of them all right that's a nice big package here hopefully it's in a gemini in there yep totally personalized note in there with my name and saying the books are inside pull tabs and they hope my purchase was satisfactory. Okay. Let's see. What are you? Aha. Love. Cardboard flats. These always get reused. books in here. I think I know what these are. If I am correct, you guys are in for a treat. Like I said, four books there. And what are you? Yes, exactly what I thought you were. Battle Beast. Issue number one, two copies. Issue number three, issue number four. Wow, uh, issue number three actually looks pretty beat up. This is not the reason I bought it, though. But it can totally be cleaned. Or I might just throw that one in my collection. I actually need a Battle Beast 3. But two copies of issue number one heading to the boxes. This is another book right here. I started putting in my mystery boxes way back when I did my first 80s month. And uh, at the time, this book was... I don't know, a $10, $15 book. And now this thing is pushing $50 and $60. So I was really excited to find these bad boys. Mm -hmm. I'll give them a good cleaning. They don't need a press because, wow, those are crisp. But they could use a little clean. Very nice. Really, really excited about those. And so should you. All right. Last. But certainly, certainly not least, man, I'm really cranking out the mailbag day this week, or like the last two weeks, guys. What, I put out four within 12 days or so, or whatever it is? I love big blue painter's day. Oh. <sighs> but not really. Man, there isn't such a thing as tape overkill. Yeah, 
Yeah, actually, I'm gonna put my razor blade here before I get hurt trying to take this thing out of here. Man, I can't believe I saved this one for last. I got to tape everywhere. I mean, I guess it could be worse. I guess it could be completely encased in tape. I've actually done that a few times for like Christmas presents where I've taken a box and just completely wrapped the whole box end to end. Uh, just one giant whatever in uh, uh, like eBay tape. There's so much of that stuff. That is always fun. Okay. Alright, another cardboard flash that will get reused. If you buy Comic Vantage bags, especially a single pack at a time, there's always a cardboard flat in there to help keep them safe and sturdy. Alright guys, what is the last book on the list? The last book is... <laughs> another Rambo, issue number one. So that means I do have two copies at the very least going in. Ooh, so good. All right, so let's recap. We're just going to leave Rambo there because he's awesome. We got some Battle Beast coming at you. We have some Rambo action. Ninja Turtles. Put these together. Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! So, Care Bears, Thundercats, and He-Man. That is right. This is our mailbag day. All these books heading to the mystery boxes. Look at that. So good. Man, season 26, guys, is going to be absolutely bonkers. People are going to have so much fun with this. Ah, <sighs> Wow, yeah. Such a good time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subbed to my channel, hit the little CV right there. Hit the little bell up there. If you're not using Comic Vantage bags, make sure to head to comicvantage.com and look for my my OPP plastic bags. Yes, get that Mylar look without the Mylar cost. <laughs> to my channel supporters, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. To my channel subscribers, you guys are amazing too. Love you all to death. Let me know in the comments below what you like, what you, if you like what you see here and, you know, I like talking to people, so yeah, throw something out there for me. And like always, guys, thank you for watching, and take it easy.